Hello everyone. I want you to imagine this movie watered down and injected with a little demonic possession. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and I will be your critic for the next few minutes as I talk about Incarnate, which answers the question, what if Two-Face ever tried to cast a demon out of a young Bruce Wayne? That's essentially what this movie is. You've got Aaron Eckhart and you've got the kid who plays the young Bruce Wayne on Gotham. I think his name is Anthony Munoz. He has either Anthony Munoz, I think that's the Cincinnati Bengals tackle from the 1980s. I don't know. So Aaron Eckhart plays a secular exorcist who uses science to cast out demons. And what he does is, this might sound familiar to you, he puts himself to sleep and he enters the mind of the possessed person, in this case, the young Bruce Wayne who is, conveniently enough, sitting cross-legged on the floor of his bedroom for the, pretty much the entire movie. It sounds a lot like Inception, right? That's basically what this is. So anyway, Aaron Eckhart's character is this, like I say, secular scientist exorcist type, and he's been trying to chase down this demon, and he gets, finally find, gets word that the demon has possessed this 11-year-old boy, which is awfully convenient because the demon he's chasing, whose name is Maggie, is this demon that he credits or blames for the death of his wife and 11-year-old son a year or two earlier, which is apparently when he stopped cutting his hair. So, okay, so I've told you enough about the plot. You don't really need to know anything else other than the fact that this movie is just not scary. Um, I am not a big demonic possession movie guy, but hey, you know, money's money. And so I went and saw this and it's just not scary at all. There are a couple of jump scares and it just really fell flat. Um, there are elements of the movie that get to the so bad it's good. For example, at one point, the demon, Maggie, kills one of, the, one of the supporting actors. And there's this quick scene where you see the dead body being wheeled away in a body bag by what appear to be two paramedics. Okay, that's fine, that's rational. But then they get to the next scene and everybody's back at the exorcism again, as if nothing happened because apparently the cops showed up at the scene of the dead body and just had a previous engagement, decided to go get some donuts, thought, hey, the exorcist, secular scientist guy is here, so we're good. We'll just leave it in his hands. It doesn't make sense. This movie doesn't make sense. Incarnate, uh, their, their best of intentions, I can give them one star out of four, but that's as far as it'll go. This is the kind of movie that, you know, if you're, it's 2 a.m. and it's on cable and you're desperate to see something, you might get a couple of laughs at it. Unfortunately, you're just not gonna get any frights. So thanks for stopping by. Again, this is Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry. Be sure to subscribe and uh, have a fine day. Have a demonic possession free day. <laughs>